According to the American Medical Association, stress can be a factor in more than 75% of illnesses. Well, here at Water's Edge, just looking out the window can help restore your spirit. But why not go over the edge and have a spa treatment? That's what they offer here on the second floor. Let's see what's on their menu of services and why. Starting with a relaxing massage, there's a full menu of spa services, not to mention all the clinics and classes, to be enjoyed on the second floor at Water's Edge. It's all a part of their philosophy of lifestyle medicine. And if you don't think you deserve getting services like these, think of maintaining your body like you would your car. And it goes down the road and you don't hear squeaks and loud exhaust, but it, and the gas mileage is at its best because that car is finely tuned and well maintained. And our bodies are that same, same way. So physiolog physiologically, if we can actually feed our bodies healthy nutrition, reduce that stress, that impact, it helps our bodies to work with coherence, to work the way they were designed to. Barb Robeson, spa director, says one way to enjoy their services is through hydrotherapy, a very present moment activity which teaches stress reduction. Everything that happens within this room is in the now, the aromatherapy, the warm water, the music, the fireplace. And so we work with people to help them to be in this present moment. Because so often our busy, busy minds, we have a lot of worry about past things that have happened or we worry about the future. And both of those we really can't control. So by teaching that aspect of being in the present moment really helps to reduce stress and the awareness of how busy our minds can be. Barb says monkey mind is the term they use for our busy thoughts. And another way to help turn those off is with a facial. Esthetician Mary Lively says facials are much more than just cleansing the skin. And a facial is a great way to reduce stress. We all have a lot of stress in our lives. And sometimes people don't really understand how much stress they're in until they come in and are able to spend this hour just for themselves without the interruption of a cell phone or the internet and experience the total relaxation and the healing power of touch. Acupuncture is another service offered at Water's Edge, often used to treat side effects of chemotherapy and radiation. Acupuncture uses a body map of 12 channels. Each channel corresponds to a major organ, and all are interconnected to create a current. From a Western perspective, um, the, of these 365 major acupuncture points, 70% of them are along the nervous system. So in effect, what we're doing is we're sending messages to the brain to do certain things, and the, and the brain responds to that, and how it responds to that is by activating a self-healing potential. Acupuncturist Juan Van S. says this Chinese technique helps the body get back to a state of homeostasis, and that's where it can naturally heal itself. Well, I'm choosing uh, these, these four points as a, as a basic uh, uh, tonifying treatment uh, to help uh, balance the body and uh, to also uh, boost energy. I could use an energy boost. Yeah. <laughs> you may think all these services give you a lift with a corresponding drain on the wallet. But with benefits like body detoxification, increased longevity, pain relief, and overall improved health, there is more to measure than what it costs right now. And that's the message you receive at Water's Edge. How does that make you more resilient to stress? That's what you need to notice because in the long run, it's all about putting dollars in your health bank account because when later on in life you can't necessarily buy a lot of good health you know you've got to earn it and that's through that lifestyle medicine this is another room they have every right to be very proud of here at water's edge the meditation room which you can use either before and after your spa treatments when we come back on making a difference we'll talk to dr paul cardosi about another very important element of everyone's health but something you don't tend to think about every day and that's your sleep